course. So I just returned. Boy, this place is noisy now down here. I had just returned from selling off a load of lumber. Uh, if you notice the bank balance, we're at 154. Uh, sold, uh, oh, I think we were at 350,000 at one time. I sold off all that lumber, all those logs that were down there. My lumber storage has got logs in it and my factories are all full. Um, well, we'll go show you this first and then I'll go show you what we've been up to. Planted uh, a little field of carrots there. But, uh, sold off all the lumber, bought all my hay equipment down here, and I hayed off this portion of the uh, cleared area to see if it would be viable for a hay meadow, and it is. So, I got one tipper trailer and that's got a half a load on it of hay so pretty decent I mean not a lot but considering it was native grass and you can see I've missed them right here next to my truck window um, considering it was this native grass crap you know hey that's not bad so once I till it up and plant it to grass real hay uh, I should get pretty good yield out of it and I'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to expand this meadow however early yesterday um, some gentlemen came by here they were mineral assayer, assayers mineral surveyors I ah, yes, it assayers assayers surveyors anyway they were going to they were hired to uh, do a mineral survey on some other property up this road and off to the right as the road curves around and uh, apparently up in this rock face up here they saw iron ore and they tested it and it was almost pure iron ore so they asked if they could dig a test pit and see what the count was like. And they told me that this area up here, so they brought in this excavator and, and uh, I don't know why they got a little tiny backhoe here, but they said that this whole area up here is clear up around and I don't even, I only own not too far up the cork curve here, but this iron vein goes all the way up around over on this other side. So they, they dig a deep pit and they uh, drill a test hole. So I got a huge iron, it, I don't know how big it is, but they are willing if I front the money to build the mine shaft and a smelter they are willing to man the mine mine the ore for a percentage of everything they mine and uh, I think right now we're sitting at 30% uh, we're still negotiating, but uh, I don't have to come up with the money to, to pay for it all first. But uh, they are ready to make a deal and sign a contract that uh, they will provide the manpower to work the mine if I build the mine infrastructure. So we'll have at least one shaft here, if not maybe another one up over here somewhere and I'll have to put a smelter in somewhere too it'll have to be down lower probably I don't know probably just back behind my truck somewhere 
they want the smelter close to the mine. So that kind of limits where we can put things. Although this area up here is flat, so if we do put another shaft in here, two shaft and maybe the smelter up here, um, I kind of wanted this for hay meadow, but depending, I mean, if you remember up on Elk Mountain, we had three shafts in the smelter, and, and it took up quite a bit of space. So two shafts in the smelter is going to take up a pretty good footprint. Um, but again, my my property line ends like somewhere right in here, so. I don't have a large footprint to put stuff, but I could. But, uh, yeah. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I want to clear all this off first and see how much uh, I can devote to a, to a mine operation. Um, I mean, that would be a great steady income. Great steady income. Uh, especially if they're doing all the mining and I don't have to pay payroll and insurance and all that. I just got to build the infrastructure. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll pay, I'll take 70% and pay the infrastructure and let them work the mine. That's, that's perfectly fine for me. So, yeah. Um, I did hear a rumor that the property just on the other side of me is for sale, but uh, the guy's wanting a whole hell of a lot, wanting a lot for it. Um, a lot more than I can afford at this point. So we'll see where this goes. So what we did with the 300 and some thousand uh, odd dollars, not counting the hundred, almost 80,000, 90,000 that I just sold all the lumber for in the last two trips. Um, we got our greenhouse operation in, op in, in, in uh, up and running. So it's been a busy uh, few days, few weeks. How are you going to call it? We're in the second week of June, so... Um, yeah, so let's run over here real quick and I'll show you our greenhouse operation. And if you remember me talking about it, I, uh, I stated I, we didn't want the greenhouse on the farm. And I didn't want to, I mean, we could have put it in this field here, and then it's taken away from my farm space. So um, I found a property that was for sale. The gentleman that owned it was in his 80s and uh, semi-retired, but he had rental houses on this property, so there's 10 rental houses on this property. So I bought the property for a, a really decent price. I'm not gonna disclose how much because there's a non-disclosure agreement because he doesn't want the public knowing how much he made off of it. But I bought, oh crap, I just ran a red stop sign. So I bought the property. Um, We'll drive through here. It, it, it's basically this road, half of this road, the other half is the fire departments. Uh, I do not own this little building. This little building did not come as part of the plot. That is a private uh, shed owned by a construction small guy with like, you know, like one of those four or five man operations. But it did come, does not include the driveway, but it starts right here at this tree where that unmowed grass is and comes around back over by the river ends over by the fire department but all these rental houses came with it so there are folks living in here and I am now their landlord um, and the property goes clear back there in the back of the trees so it's a pretty good sized property uh, I'll show you we'll look at the map so it's 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 a decent decent uh, little piece of property. This is it right here. It is. Well, crap. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, folks. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, give me the farmland. There we go. 
it is uh, now it says the value is 113,000 I didn't pay that much for it so I'll just say that that's why there's a non-disclosure agreement he doesn't want people to know how much that he let it go for because he had several offers for it um, but I met the dude at the at the local diner and uh, my wife was with me and he loved my wife for some reason and uh, but it's seven acres so it's all timber except for the, where the houses are these houses are and uh, so yeah so I'm all these folks as a landlord ten families here uh, rents ranging from 800 a month to like 1100 a month so now I'm going to have to pay maintenance fees for fees for everything um, so I got two fin two gates I got this gate we'll go into the this other gate it's kind of our main gate the city uh, because it is a commercial operation and it is not manned. I'll just shut the truck off. Just walk in. Because it's a commercial operation and it is not manned, uh, I had to put a fence around it. Not manned 24/7, or you know, it's a like a like a business where the building you can lock up, um, and the greenhouses don't lock. And because of the chemicals, they made me put a fence. Now any dumbass knows as you look under this fence, you can climb over the fence. So this dude's, the back of his tin shed is actually the border. But he added this on. It was on my property line. I don't really care. So I built my fence around so he can at least get in and out of his, his door there. So we got four of the normal hydroponic with fertilizer greenhouses. Um, they are the strawberry lettuce. We got strawberry lettuce, tomatoes, and all four of them. And then I got three of our melons. Because apparently watermelon and cantaloupe are very good sellers here. Um, so we built three of those. We still got some logs here that from the company that I hired to come in and log this out. They took all the rest of the logs and this is what was left as payment. Um, but I would, I put in a little uh, green bin for my seeds. This was, uh, what was this? About 15,000, I think. And then this shit was 20, 20 some thousand. And uh, then we invested in another Phoenix, uh, dedicated greenhouse phoenix tlx i already had the bed so i didn't have to buy that but we i did find this down the road um clever motor guy put me on to it i got a decent price on it and then of course i have already had the tractor and the uh auger wagon up the farm so uh, so yeah i did i did put a shit in here I wound up buying another trailer for another 25 um, for fertilizer so you don't have to haul fertilizer back and forth from the farm. Uh, I can leave this here and fill these and then go down to the farm, fill it back up from my, my uh, larger storage and bring this back and park it. Um, it does cause me to have to bring a truck back and forth, but you know, whatever. Um, this winter I plan on coming in and logging all this off. Um, you can kind of see the raised area. That's a railway. That's the railroad. But I'll log this off and give us some more room. I can put uh, I can put three more melon greenhouses in if I wanted to right now, but uh, I'm trying to keep them spaced farther apart so we can get the trucks in a load easier. The last Last time I made a mistake of putting the greenhouses in too close, and uh, it was hard to get in and in between them. Uh, so this time I've spaced them out quite a bit more. Um, so yeah, so that's our greenhouse operation. It is in full production. Um, so yeah, let's just 
While we're talking about production, let's just talk about all our production that we got going on. Uh, we, we really we're doing this kind of smart and and whatnot. But so my my little sawmill, which I got a little furniture shop in, I got a guy that comes in part time every day and knocks out some furniture. We're making oh just uh like cubicle type furniture. I don't know what you call it. Um, cubicles, mainly cubicle desktops um the metal work is all done somewhere else but we take uh the desktops over to the furniture store and they've got all the hardware to turn it into cubicles so we we make the tops for the desk they put a laminate on it and uh all the hardware we also do make some custom made chairs the uh, guy that i hired part-time he's in his 70s uh, he's an old woodworking guy. Just kind of goes in there. Some days he's there for eight hours. Some days he's there uh, three hours. So I pay him based on how long he's there working. And he also gets 5% um, of everything he sells or everything he makes So that we sell. Um, of course, I got my, my stylish. For uh, fermenting silo I talked about so I'm, I'm getting silage made and of course that silage is all going straight into the uh, TMR station uh, that's really going really well um, we haven't harvested any cotton so I don't have any cotton storage and I'm not sure why they consider the cotton well, cotton warehouse a uh, uh, production but it is um, our seed production is going really well. That's, uh, I emptied it. I had 16,000 in it. Uh, emptied that into the storage bin, and then I had another almost eight uh, build up. I'm out of herbicide. I got to go put some herbicide in there. I got to go buy some. Uh, actually, actually, one of my trailers still has a half a tanker full of, her of herbicide, so I can load that up. But as you can see, the melons are doing really well. Uh, we just we just started full production yesterday, um, so you know they're already hydroponically producing. Uh, then I got the lime production. That's that is going. We we cleared off a bunch of stones off of some neighbors' fields that they were working on, and then uh, uh, the county had a huge pile of gravel and whatnot that they wanted to get out of the way. Uh, out in the, one of their country sites and so we uh, I told them I'd haul it off for free if I got to keep it so um, the deal was I couldn't sell it but I could use it for my own use so hey, it worked out um, so our, you know our, our tomatoes and strawberries are going fairly well um, strawberries are growing really well they seem to do the best out of all the three things and then you know I've got uh, where are my other Where's my other, my other sawmill? No, oh, my sawmill just does planks. So we sell planks mainly to the furniture store. So they can use it to make tables and a few other things. Um, I've only sold a, a few pallets of it. We've been loading that truck up. They wanted a full load of, of uh, pallets. Um, a full semi load of, of planks so we're loading that up I'm about three quarters full on it so far um, I've got a one guy that comes in and sets it up and he runs about three four hours a day um, he's got a full-time job so he comes in late in the afternoon and runs a bunch of wood through and makes the planks so that's kind of a slow operation um, not real fast on that but uh, He's got more time in the winter time, so uh, he's going to come in when it starts getting colder and work longer. So that's our production. That's our greenhouses. That's what we got going on. Um, we just doing a lot of logging. Um, you know, getting ready for uh, for harvest. We we don't have anything that is anywhere close to being ready for harvest. Um, Grass. 
there's my two grass meadows that we put in but this is all cotton um, as you can see and then I've got the uh, what were these? Yeah, the two oat fields. Uh, we'll harvest those oats and we'll sell that oat off and we'll have that straw. Um, and then I've got uh, the sunflower fields. Two sunflower fields there that are mine. And then that last one is corn. That we will harvest uh, probably half of it off for the corn and sell that. And then... The, the rest will go into the silo for chaff. So, and then of course my carrot field. Um, so yeah, and this guy wants to sell these two properties, but he's wanting a, you know, a lot for him. He wants six hundred and twenty-four thousand for this one, and eight hundred and some thousand for that one. I just don't have that kind of money. And of course this guy up here. You know, he wants almost 400000 for that. But right in here in this corner, this is, you can kind of, let me turn this off. You can kind of see, let me zoom in here, this little spot right here, that is right where that pit is. And apparently that iron seam goes up through here, back over through here down into here so apparently they've dug some other holes in here test holes this is where they originally were working when they saw the exposed iron ore in the side of that cutout and so uh, yeah so they're looking at developing more iron mining up through here iron ore mining uh, now the same surveyors since they're mineral surveyors they have said there's a trace of oil uh, also up in here, but they did not have the equipment to drill a test well. Um, so they asked permission to build, build a test well because they will also, if I pay for the oil well, they will also, they also run oil wells. Um, they have a side, uh, another division of the same company that uh, besides the mining they do oil production um, so that's a whole another side that's a whole whole another ball of wax because that's a huge infrastructure um, outlay of capital and uh, you know a refinery and the whole nine yards. Now they say, of course, that part of the agreement would be they would be the they would man it for you know the percentage or everything. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. That's 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 a way in the future, and I need a hell of a lot more money in that. But we'll we'll start with the iron, and we'll go from there. Um, so that's where we're at, guys. I appreciate you watching. Uh, again, I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. And feel free to leave comments about uh, anything you want me to see or in more detail or something you would like me to look at. Uh, if you haven't seen my Case IH show, showcase, um, I did do an episode where I brought out all my Case IH equipment and uh, go to my channel kansas farm guy and uh, you can see that showcase of all the different case ih equipment that uh, i have well thank you have a good night